One. Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is time for another Tuesday toss-up. That means it's Tuesday, <laughs> if you didn't get it from the whole Tuesday toss-up thing. <laughs> I've already lost my mind and we're just now getting started. Anyhow, Tuesday toss-up. I've got two pours in front of me that Bill poured me blindly. He labeled them, poured them. No clue what they are, but I'm gonna pick a winner. We're gonna see if there's an allocated or an alternative or maybe no alternatives. Who knows what's gonna happen? It could get wild, it could get crazy. No matter what, we're about to do this thing. So, thank you guys so much for being here. Cheers to you at home. Thank you for supporting The Average Drinker. Thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate you. Now, let's dive in. <coughs> cheers. I try to cheers you, like Okay, glass number one, here we go. Huh, on the nose, it smells nice. Like cream soda, vanilla, not like real fruity or anything. It smells like delicately laced cream soda, caramelized sugars. Vanilla pudding. A little bit of oakiness to it, actually. Does not burn the nose hairs. Does not. It does not burn the nose hairs. Now, let's give it a sip here. Actually, I'm gonna smell glass number two first. Just cause I'm curious. Oh. Mm. I think right off the bat, I like glass number two's nose, but that doesn't mean anything. Let's dive in. Glass number one. It smells like you're sitting on a park bench drinking a cream soda in the freaking middle of the summer. That's what it smells like. Like it. Even a little bit of orange. Okay. Huh. When I just took a sip of it, it was like a burst of BAM right up front. Like, BAM flavor, bam, spice. And then it went mellow. And then it kind of just slowly dried out on the back end. Let's take another sip. It's got a good proof. It's mildly oaky. But not like delicate, like old, old oaky. Just like a nice old, like a nice oakiness with a richness, a flavor. It smells like, to me, not smells like, but it tastes to me like a classic bourbon. Has some more proof to it. Definitely has some proof to it. Mm. I like it. I definitely like it. Mm. I want to keep drinking it because I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, let's go on to glass number two. And yes, I remembered my water. I definitely remember my water. Woo! That's a warm one. Like, I'm gonna tell you that's like 120, 125, 130, somewhere, one, somewhere between 120 and 130. Which kind of makes me think of certain things, but also kind of makes me not think of certain things. Like, I don't know. Okay, glass number two. I really like glass number two. There's something sweeter in glass number two, like a, a hint of cherry in there that I wasn't getting out of glass number one. Ugh. Glass number two is like, nose is so much, it's so good. It's, it's definitely better than glass number one on the nose. It's rich, oaky, vanilla, cherry. Definitely like a red deep cherry, not like a maraschino cherry, no, like a really good red cherry that's not overly sweet or medicinal. It's like a cherry oak wood, actually. Hint of orange peel, chai spice. Like chai, you guys know chai tea, like chai tea spice, that's what I get out of that. Caramel, butterscotch, 
A little bit of red apple. It's definitely like a richer nose with a lot more going on than glass number one so far. Let's take a sip here and see what happens. Oh yeah. Cheery vanilla creaminess. It's weird because like right up front, I get some of those spice notes, like a little bit of cinnamon and vanilla and a burst of caramel. And then it rolls into a light brown sugar then it rolls into like cherry and vanilla sweetness, but not overly cherry, not overly oaked, light oak. Oh, that's good. Need to go back to glass number one, but glass number two so far is what I like a little bit better. Glass number two reminds me of something. I don't want to say it, so I'm not going to say it. And glass number one reminds me of something. Also, I'm hoping my gut's right. And if my gut's right, I'm going to guess that these are between 126 and 130 proof. Could be wrong but that's my guess. Huh. Honestly, glass number one, I even get this like grapiness too. Like a grapey, oaky, hint of leather. I'm definitely off on the proof because that tastes way less proof after just having that a second ago. Tastes like way less proof than glass number two, but I'm probably wrong. Yeah. It's creamier. Doesn't have as much spice to it and a little bit sweeter. Yeah, glass number two is just richer with that little tiny pop of cherry that comes through mid palate and I just can't resist that. That is so good. Very, very good. It has some brown sugar that it finishes off with and the, the finish just sits there in your mouth and I like it better overall. I hope I'm not like, I always feel nervous about these because you never know how blinds are going to end up. You never know what you're going to choose or how your palate's going to be that day or what you ate that day. It can all go into what you're drinking. So anyhow, glass number two wins over glass number one, moving it forward. So I'm leaving them there. Now, it is time to figure out which one finishes on top. I'm excited, I'm ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we go. We're gonna find out how bad I am at this. Shout. Definitely has two, definitely has more proof than glass one, I think, by a little bit. Okay, glass two. Oh no, we're going to glass one first since it's in second. Glass one is Wild Turkey Rare Breed. 116.8 proof, so. I was a little a little high on that proof. I was gu guessing a little high, but it's good. I, and let me say this now, even though I, I just saw what that one was, I will tell you I like both of these and I really enjoyed both of them. So no matter what, I like them and I didn't think anything was bad about them. So there's that. Now let's move on to glass number two. What is glass number two? Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strength OESV 118.6. So. I guess that drank a little bit hotter, but this one, it was really good. It definitely had, like I said, it makes sense that I said it had more flavor and more complexity to it. Cause generally I'm gonna get like a lot of complexity and I was getting all those different spices and different flavor notes that I typically get out of Four Roses. I, I like both of these bottles and now I'm really excited and now I really just wanna go drink more Four Roses. Cause the more I drink of Four Roses, the more I realize I like it, I don't know. How about you guys at home? Do you like both of these? Do you like Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strengths? I mean, not Barrel Strengths, Single Barrel, Single Barrel Barrel Strengths. Wow, brain fart. Do you like them? What is your favorite? What's your favorite like mash build on those? Or do you just prefer a good Wild Turkey Rare Breed? I, I love Wild, I love Wild Turkey Rare Breed. It's also very good. But today, Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strength one, and it makes sense, it's really good. So anyhow, let me know what you guys think of these. I always appreciate your feedback. As always, thank you guys so much for watching The Average Drinker. I'm Dara and I'll see you next time.